yield on a southern bluefin tuna is seriously mind blowing. If correct fish processing techniques are followed, you'll be left with many quality cuts. Well, having followed all of the Tuna Champions protocols to date, we now have this beautiful fish that has been in an ice slurry for nearly 18 hours. I've got to say, it looks almost as good or better than when we caught it. Now, it's important to note, we're not just going to take the fillets off this fish because this fish has so much more to offer and we do not want to waste a single thing. So once we've taken the fillets, we're also gonna take the collars. There's beautiful cheek meat here. It's like a beef cheek when you go to a restaurant with the potato mash, so tender. There's a head fillet as well. And then if you love your fried rice, your dumplings, etc., once all that is removed, the flesh between the bones, you can get a spoon and literally scrape it off. By the time we're finished, there'll be nothing left but bones and a skull. So make sure once you've filled the fish, do not put fresh water on it because osmosis can occur between the fresh water and the fish. It's not a good look. One of the many purposes of bleeding your fish properly is that it leaves your fillets nice and clean. So just a dry cloth, dry the fillets off, and then put them in a bag. And then it's about storage of this fish. If you're like me, there's gonna be plenty of friends at home that don't get the opportunity to eat tuna like this, and I'm gonna share it. They'll get little bags ready to go. They're gonna eat some quality fish in the next 24 hours. But storage, 10 months, cryovacked and frozen, not a problem. You will still get sashimi grade bluefin tuna. So how good is the final product when you break down a tuna properly? Look at these beautiful big fillets. They are gonna make some incredible steaks and sashimi. The collars, they are so good. Look at all this beautiful, soft, tender meat. Almost like when you get that leg meat on a chicken. So tender, so beautiful to eat. These cheeks, they will be absolutely amazing. The head fillets, look at the difference in color, so nice. And when you look at this, nothing left at all. Not a scare, no waste. And that stuff there, how good is that gonna be in some beautiful recipes? If you take the time to break these fish down properly, there's just so much quality food. Seriously, this is almost art. Once you've processed your catch, it's important to keep it as chilled as possible until you can either get it cryovacked and frozen or in a fridge. When properly looked after, tuna can be stored for up to 10 months and still eat fine. So whether you enjoy sashimi or cooking your tuna, the opportunities are endless, as long as you follow the simple tuna champion steps. I'm Paul Wesley. I'm Patrick Dangerfield. And, and we're, we're Tuna, tuna Champions. champions.